Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a showcase, and uh, most of the new things added in the 1.16, um, or at least in one of the snapshots, so most of the things added in this snapshot 1.16, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this and check some of this out, um, here we have nether bricks, and like we've always had these normal nether bricks right here. Um, but we had, but uh, in the update they added chiseled nether bricks and cracked nether bricks, which I personally pretty like. I like the nether, uh, the cracked nether bricks. Uh, so yeah. Um, and here and over here they added soul sand and blue flames. Um, so, uh, this is what soil, so, uh, not soil sand, so soil, which is kind of looks like this, which you can kind of see there, um, but then also, what you can do is with this, with the flames that you, that if you put flames on that, it, get, it gives it like a blue, like it gives the flame a blue kind of after color, um, so yeah, but, so you can have now, you can have soul torches, soul lanterns, and soul campfires. Which all look pretty nice. Um, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and go. Here we have nether wood now. Um, we have, there's crimson, which is, uh, like a red wood. There's, uh, this is what the planks look like. Uh, this is what's stripped. And this is what it normally looks like. Got stairs and slabs, but I forgot to add slab. It warped, and then this is, it's the same thing, it's just warped. You can see... Uh, this is warped stem, you see warped, warped planks, warped wood, kind of see how that works out. Um, here we got basalt, or basalt, which is, uh, yeah, it's just this block. <clears throat> I forget exactly what it does, but, so yeah. Uh, here we have, right over here we have nylium. This is, uh, obviously crimson nylium. And this is warped nylium, which you have to have one of these two to grow their respective trees. Go walk up, walk up here. We got um some of the new blocks that you could use for construction. Uh, we have netherite blocks um for like you know netherite. Um, here we have uh, quartz bricks. Uh, here is um blackstone bricks, cracked blackstone bricks. Here's blackstone. Actually, I forget what this is called. It's called, uh, like, Blackstone. Something, I forget what it's called. Um, this is, uh, Chiseled Blackstone, and this is Lodestone. Crap, another, so you can see here's Warped. This is, a. Uh, well, this is, like, uh, it's called Weeping Vines, and these are called, these ones right here are called, Twisting vines, you can just kind of see how that all works. Uh, so those kind of just get planted, but these right here are actually weeping, so they hang. Yeah, and here's a couple more of the blocks that were added. We have a respawn anchor, which I don't, it doesn't quite work yet, but in the nether you can set your respawn point. Um, and they added crying obsidian back into the game. Uh, here's a target block, netherite scrap. Netherite ingots and shroom light. This is basically just like, um, just like glowstone, but a little bit different. Uh, target block, you can see it's just a target block. Here's crying obsidian, and here is a respawn anchor. So, uh, yeah, so and then, uh, up here, if, if you're wondering, like, how to craft netherite. So you can get net blocks of netherite made out of netherite ingots, but um, use these netherite scraps. I actually forget how to craft this. There. Okay, so you can use the blocks of netherite to do that. Um... Here's some soul torches used in a, uh, kind of like, a good environment. And this right here is just a little show thing, uh, where they, where I want to show, here's the chain block. 
It's a new block that I added, so you get like hanging lanterns. I use the uh, I use the other lanterns. I got a respawn anchor. So it's kind of like a little nether base that you would have. This is uh, just one of the doors of the pretty sure it's a crimson door. Uh, this is a target block. If you want to test your target, and here's some blackstone bricks. Um, and up here, this is probably one of the most impressive things in this whole update. Uh, they added netherite, which I've already showed you already, but, um, you see, netherite is the only thing that is actually fireproof. Like, you throw it in lava, and it just bounces around. See, so you can kind of, like, come over here, and boom, you pick it right back up. I just threw it into the lava. That works for everything. See, like, here's all the, the armor, and it all just bounces back. See, it just kind of bounces around. Yeah, so you can kind of see how that works, and also works on... Axes, hoes, shovels, all of it works. Just wanted to show you that everything, all the netherite is like that. But, um, what isn't, what, what something that you might want to know is that I have full netherite armor on right now. It does not make you fireproof, as you can see. Watch. Yeah, it's still, you still get burned. But it's very, very slow. Like, I'm on fire. Like, I jump into the lava and my hearts, like, go down very, very slow. Like, they're re- they're re, they're kind of like re going. See, I'm sitting in lava here, just sitting here now, and everything is just, it's not really burning. Like if I have full hunger, I could just sit here, basically all day, and just sit here in this lava and be just fine. So like say, so like say I dropped into lava and had to swim back to the surface. Could right here. Yeah. So it is very strong, and also it has knock back. All of them have knock back. Uh. It gives you plus one knockback resistance, which is also pretty cool. Um, but right over here, I can't really hope to notice, but I have this big thing. I have this big nether portal, which I will be going into in a second. But uh, here's a crimson tree right here. Kind of see how that would go. Like you have to be planted on the... Wait, Nylium, the like, crimson trees have to be planted on this. And uh, warp trees have to be planted on that. You can see this is a warp tree. See, they can go anywhere from about this tall, or even that tall, to that tall. This thing's like 30 blocks tall, I checked that. And here's also one of the other, this is the warped door. So, yeah, there's a lot of things. This is uh, warped roots. And so I got some crimson roots, I believe. Yep, crimson roots out there here. So you can just kind of see how that would work. How all that kind of comes together. <clears throat> but, um, so yeah. I'm pretty sure that is it, that all that I need to show you in the overworld. Let's go ahead and go in here real quick. Let's go into this big nether portal. This nether portal is huge. Let's leave it a second as it loads up. So, yeah, this is just... I actually haven't even came out of this thing yet. This is the first time I've checked out this nether portal. First time I've checked it out. And, yeah, if I, uh, I haven't went through this nether portal yet. Yeah, you can see here is a. Um, should have kept that netherite uh, pickaxe on me. But, um, yeah, so you can see I spawned in the crimson biome where it's all crimson. You got the crimson trees. See, look, look, see, say I drop in some lava. Well, I'm just sitting here with this armor and it's not even really doing anything. Look at that, the armor isn't even like taking any. taking any like, durability or anything. I think it does eventually, but it just doesn't take very much. Kind of spawn in this little thing right here where there's some mushrooms and magma blocks. But this right here, this over here, this is uh, nether gold. So that you can get. There's also uh, nether quartz, obviously. Yeah, so we got some nether trees. I'm pretty sure this right here is a way out right here. See, it, does, it hardly takes any damage. Uh, so, yeah. See if I can, like, parkour. I doubt I can, but... Watch, like, this right here is just... This is amazing me how... Say I need to get across here. Just... Oh, this might have actually been a bad idea. So you say I need to... Get down here. I need to cross the level. Normally, like, diamond armor, I'd already be dead. But since I have this netherite armor, boom. So I could just swim across the whole thing of lava... And not really be harmed in any way. I mean, like, I burnt, obviously, but, I mean... See, look, I can jump back and do it again. 
just it's insane how you can just swim through a bunch of lava so like in the nether forget like nether like forget like fire resistance potions you could just swim across if you have another armor but netherite is extremely extremely uh hard to find it's even rarer than diamonds and you have to get to the nether to find it so this is very very rare but it is something you can find and it's better than diamonds and that is cool yes yeah, so i spawned in the crimson biome that's pretty cool so yeah um that's really about all that I need to show you. Uh, there's a couple things that I probably forgot, but um, I tried to build this world real quick. And look at that, a train. But um, yeah, I tried to build this world just so I can make this video without having to make you all wait for too long without a video. So yeah, if I forgot some blocks, go ahead and tell me in the comments. But, yeah, other than that, um, I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, goodbye.